I remember those train journeys vividly. General class, packed like sardines. It was hot, stuffy, and uncomfortable. But amid the chaos, there was a strange sense of adventure, a shared journey with strangers. A kind lady sharing her food, a child's laughter echoing through the compartment. These simple joys made the journey bearable. The rhythmic clatter of the train on the tracks was our background music. Sleep was a luxury, often snatched sitting up, head resting against a stranger's shoulder. The world whizzed by, fields, villages, rivers, glimpses of life outside our own. We didn't complain, we adjusted. We learned to find joy in small things, a shared meal, a game of cards, a friendly face in the crowd. These journeys were a testament to our resilience, our ability to adapt and find happiness even in adversity. My parents worked hard, very hard. Every rupee they earned was precious, a stepping stone to a better future for their children. Luxuries were a distant dream, carefully sacrificed at the altar of education. New clothes were a rarity, enjoyed on special occasions. Eating out was reserved for very, very special days. My father would meticulously note down every expense in his little notebook. Every paisa was accounted for, every indulgence scrutinized. I remember once I yearned for a small toy. It wasn't expensive, but my father gently explained that the money could buy a new notebook for my studies. That notebook, a symbol of their sacrifice, became my prized possession. It taught me the value of hard work, of delayed gratification, of prioritizing education above all else. It was a constant reminder of my parents' love, a love that manifested not in material possessions, but in opportunities. Those journeys were not without their anxieties. The fear of ticket checkers was a constant companion. We would sit huddled together, hearts pounding in our chests every time someone in uniform approached. My father, ever resourceful, would have a plan. Sometimes we would shift compartments, other times we would pretend to be asleep. The tension in those moments was palpable. It was a stark reminder of our circumstances, of the fine line we walked between affordability and rules. Even today, years later, the sight of a ticket checker evokes a flicker of that old fear. It is a visceral reminder of my past. A past that I have left behind, but not forgotten. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, our ability to overcome adversity and emerge stronger on the other side. Section 4. Books over movies, education over entertainment. While our friends went to movies and ate delicious snacks, our entertainment was simple, often free. We spent hours in libraries, lost in the world of books. We played in parks, our laughter echoing through the trees. We learned to find joy in simple things, to appreciate the beauty around us. Education was our priority, our passport to a better life. My parents instilled in us the belief that knowledge was power that it was the one thing that could never be taken away from us. And they were right. The education I received, thanks to their sacrifices, opened doors that would have otherwise remained closed. It empowered me, gave me a voice, and allowed me to dream big. It was the greatest gift they could have given me. Section 5. A Comfortable Journey, A Grateful Heart Today, I can afford to travel comfortably. The AC compartment is a welcome change from the crowded general class of my childhood. I no longer fear the ticket checker's shadow, but the memories of those early journeys remain etched in my heart. They are a reminder of where I come from, of the sacrifices my parents made, of the values they instilled in me. They are a testament to the transformative power of education, of hard work, of perseverance. As I look out the window, I see not just the passing scenery, but reflections of my past, my present, and my future. A future built on the foundation of my parents' love and sacrifices. A future filled with gratitude and a deep-seated desire to give back, to make their sacrifices count. <laughs>